Welcome to the Lucky Cup Podcast. I'm joined by Tentacle Porn David, and I'm also joined by He-Man's natural enemy, Nick. Mm. Mm, curse you, Ryan! Mm. Why, why am I Tentacle Porn? <laughs> yeah, why is he Tentacle Porn? Yeah, he's Japanese boy. That don't make any fucking sense. <laughs> Japanese boy? Well, David, is you that know all the fisherman's wife pretty well. I did not fucking watch that. You brought that up in, like, episode two, and I have still never went to go see it. Lies. <laughs> Not even when it was in theaters? What? <sighs> what? I couldn't hear you. Hell was talking. Thanks. Thanks, Hell. You're welcome. Nick. I'll be here. I'll be here all week. Oh, fuck. Speaking please don't. Speaking of theaters, uh... <laughs> speaking of theaters, Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods is in theaters right now. I already watched... Not yours. ...the dubs of... I didn't watch the American release, so there we go. Or in other words, I've, I've seen yeah. the, I've seen the subbed. Yep. Goku still sounds like a, well, it's like voiced a by twelve a girl, year old little girl said. with <laughs> voice cancer. Yeah, no, like a, how old is she? Like sixty? I have no voice idea. Voice cancer. The Japanese voice actress for Goku has always been the same from episode one of Dragon Ball to the very end of GT. It's like the old, um. Sounds like Link voice, like, yet, yet, whatever, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, pretty much. Whenever uh, Goku screams. Yeah. He screams a lot. <laughs> yeah. That's how he powers up. That's how anyone powers up. Yeah? And no Super Saiyan mode, it's not canon, though, fuck. What? What? It's not, I don't think it's canon, the new, the Super Saiyan God form. Yeah, it is. Is it? What is canon? Far? Canon means it fits into the official storyline. Oh, I thought you were talking about camera. <laughs> camera. No. Super Saiyan God's canon. Uh, Akira Toriyama made it. Uh, he made the the anime. He said the movie is canon to the manga. It, it takes place in between the time skip. Oh, cool. Well, shit. And they already announced a new Dragon Ball Z movie yeah. for next year. Oh boy. Another one Ryan won't get to see. Yeah, That's... they don't have any... No theater around me has it. I'd have to go about two hours to go watch it. Oh, fuck that. that That's the funny thing, too. There's like a... Um, we told DVD. Like, the Super Saiyan 5 thing was like a fan-made one. It's like all white-haired with... Like... It's all white and stuff like that. It looks really, like, weird. Yet, they make action figures for it. It's really? like it, yeah, it's really weird. It's like cuz it's not in the story. It's only been like fan made yet they do make like um stuff for it. So is it canon? I do not know. Oh. I said canon. It's, it's marketing, canon. but it's not canon. Oh my god, stop saying canon. Ca I said Why? Ca it's, I said it's, canon. it's so canon, fucking it's much. It's not officially part of the storyline. I'm going to get you a fucking thesaurus so you can say other shit. <laughs> Would you really? Hey, my English vocabulary. Probably, is yeah. Good. Get you an app. I do have, I have one on my Kindle. So <laughs> fucking look up Canon. I just oh I just go into my my, uh, my mail like the it's next Kyle week. It's Cannon. And uh, it says it says like, from David, with no love. With absolute hatred. Look <laughs> shit up. Learn new words. Use Dear grammar. America, learn better words. Learn Sentence. better English. <laughs> English Spanish? English. That's English Spanish. Time to speak the Japanese speak. Oh, fuck. Uh, there's gonna be like that one person that's gonna Google everything that I say and it's like, well, he said this, 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 and this, and this, and this. Oh, also in this. No, there's somebody typing up a transcript of everything that gets told. <laughs> Like like a courtroom. Oh man, I must what? must document this. It's funny too because they. Uh, I don't have a mom. When my dad mows, my mom will like within ten minutes will go out and take him a full glass <laughs> of Kool Aid and lets him drink it. Fucking it's, all, it's all ice cold for him and stuff. I don't get shit. <laughs> I was out there mowing for forty minutes. I didn't get anything. Yeah, it's because you're little. You're young. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan will live. It's only it's only ninety eight degrees outside. He'll live. That's fine. You can still yeah, mow the lawn in that legit. 
for that, unless you're not fit. Well, you live in Texas. So I, I know. So you're used to the heat. There's, There's no grass the cold. there anyway. What do you mean? Well, yeah, it is kind of... Tennessee does not know what kind of weather system it wants. It goes from balls freezing cold to ass sweating hard or hot. Which freezing cold is, what, 30? Mm, no, it's like... I think One day lowest... it was actually like 17 degrees, and then the next day it was 65. Well, I'll hit you up when it's negative 50. I'll invite you up. <laughs> yeah, that's why I haven't been up there in the wintertime. I'm like, you know, I could go see David right now, but it's like negative 10 and... I but don't Nick plan lives on... in Texas, and it only drops down to about like sixty degrees or seventy degrees in the winter. Hey, I'm the only one that gets to see a significant amount of snowfall. Yeah, it does not snow here at all. I don't really care for snow. I, I'd be surprised if it did. <laughs> We've established I'm, that I'm me and snow don't get along. I mean, so. it didn't snow wherever we, uh, whenever we lived in um, Japan. Well, it did snow once, but uh, oh, that soccer. was it. I know it snowed there when Alley Speed was over there. Actually, it could have snowed like probably a few times, and I didn't even realize it because I was too busy at doing other things. Jerking off. The technical form. You didn't have to wait till 22. <laughs> Who did? Man, what a Rock. loser. Who's that guy? <laughs> I've never jerked it, so I wouldn't know. Oh, yeah, speaking of that, fucking Ryan's webcam. No, oh, the uh, feels. Nick's, Nick's internet connection's like down here and mine's up high. And it's like on the night of a full moon that ha happens to be blue. Actually, it's like, Our internet they're connection like in a relationship. Will fist bump and we can play together. <laughs> they're like in a relationship. <laughs> like, um, they a long distance relationship. They can't connect You're people, a Wi Fi so. connector relationship. So, in other words, David is the glue that keeps us together. Aw. Uh -huh. <laughs> David's the internet connection itself. <laughs> Even though that's funny that we only that the first podcast that we did it was only me and you. Because I didn't ask David to join. <laughs> yep. I forgot. And now he's here. Uh, yeah. Cheerios and all. I'll f mm. The more I say it, the less it's well going to this point. be a joke. <laughs> David, you might as well just like make a T-shirt that says "I love Cheerios." No, I swear <laughs> to God, if that did become, if this ever took off, and I saw people in town, or if I went to RTX or something like that, and people had a fucking T-shirt, <laughs> I swear to God, I'll pay people to wear T-shirts for you. No, yeah. don't pay them. If I swear to God, if I see them legitimately wearing a T-shirt that says that, I'm gonna. I'll intimidate I them. I will dress up I'll, as Skeletor. <laughs> I'll die even more inside. Like, uh, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Don't wear a Cheerios t-shirt. What the fuck? <laughs> That's your contribution to the America, so... Yeah, I left my mark on this country. Welcome to America, where we sink Cheerios. And put women in cages. <sighs> oh my god. Put women in cages or put uh, women in Nicolas Cage movies? Either one. Not women. Uh, well, fuck, it was somehow. supposed to be me that started the topics, but fuck. Jeez. Yeah, just fucking start it. Go. Okay. I, I had a question. What do you oh. think is the hardest game that you guys have ever played? Hmm. I haven't played it yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what's the hardest one? The one that gave you the most difficult time, pretty much. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um... Let me think for a minute. It'd be a game on, on a difficulty that basically makes it fucking impossible. <laughs> I want to say Zombies Ate My Neighbors. What now? It's an SNES game I've never beat. Huh. I've uh, tried many times. I didn't even think of <clears throat> SNES stuff. I think but, Mystic Quest. God, SNES games were hard. Yeah. There was like I played Mystery of Cosboy before. It's a old Transformers game. It mm -hmm. it's basically like um it's both epileptic is that's the word, right? Where it makes you kinda of like all foamy at the mouth when bright flashing colors happen. Yeah. <clears throat> it's epileptic when you die, it's 
fucking impossible to know what the fuck's going on because it puts you right into the game and the shit already flying at you. And um, if you guys look it up, you'll probably know uh, know what I mean. You'll see like uh, just random bullshit. You can't even see what the things that they fire at you. It's like, what? What? Did did I won? Did but, I won? Yeah, did I Red won? Red Two Prey did a video on that. Did who? Did the Red Two Prey has a video about that game? Oh really? Shout out. Don't know who that is, but oh really? <laughs> Look him up. You'll find there's a guy that sounds a lot like me. But uh, the one that I was thinking of is um, oh, excuse me, uh, is um Earth Defense Force 2025 on Infernal difficulty. It's basically <clears throat> hell. It turns itself You're into in a game. A, yes. I'm I'm in a video game. Thank Sweet. you. Um, but it, why the fuck are you in this podcast then? Exactly, I'm just broadcasting it through um the world of Sword Art. He's he's plugging his game. <laughs> um, mm. but um, save me. It's ba- the game is basically all about killing giant insects, and on say normal difficulty, they're like big, slow insects that shoot like um ants shoot acid at you, and they shoot like five pellets. And the, dif- the, the difficulty goes up a little bit more, and blah, blah, blah. And the hardest is basically right before Inferno, where they get a big speed boost and uh, a little bit more health, and they shoot a lot more. But Inferno, fuck that shit. They get, like, f- ten times more health. They move so much more faster, and they shoot about, like, 15 fucking acid things at you, which all insta-kill you if you don't have max health. So... Oh, huh, more faster. <laughs> Yeah, more faster. It fucking sucks. So you have to be able to dodge, That's... or you're fucked. Good grammar. Grammar. Grammar good. good. <laughs> Are With my grammar marshmallows good? Marshmallows and Hershey's. There's a T-shirt. Marshmallows and Hershey's. <coughs> marshmallows and chocolate in between two grams. More uh, grammar. Oh damn! What was that idea for the Star Wars video we had last night? Oh fuck! Yeah, what was? We replaced Star Wars, we made it about something else. Oh, putt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Jedi, the Jedi are, uh, they all smoke pot, and you have to be a master to do it. Yeah, Luke. And the Jedi masters won't let, it, won't let Anakin smoke pot, so that's why he turns to the dark side. <laughs> Luke, is, Luke is sitting there going like... <laughs> Luke. Whoa! Holy Obi-Wan! fuck! He's returned! Oh, you gotta try this shit, dude. Uh, <laughs> The wasp has returned. Oh. <laughs> Revenge of the wasp. Yeah, there's one in my fucking house right now. Oh, the runs of the Uh-oh. Revenge of the wasp. He's like, you kill it. My name is Anigo Man Waspo. You killed my family. Prepare to die. Uh, and then, like, Andre the Giant comes in. <laughs> David, get your sword off. Andre the Giant was in The Princess Bride, right? David, parry! Parry! Thrust! Lunge! <laughs> this fucking thing won't die. <laughs> I swatted it. It's the high hey, well, at, least wasp. It, at least it's not in Australia where you get like um tarantula 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 yeah fuck tarantula hawks that are like spiders uh, as big as your hand. I mean Jesus, you're fucking humongous. I'd hate to be stung he by one dead. of those. How the fuck do you get in my house? Da 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 da. <laughs> you trying to interrogate the wasp? That's copyright. What? You trying to interrogate your wasp? Who sent you? Who sent you? Who sent you? He's definitely dead now. Where's Harvey Dent? Holy fuck, I looked over, he's on the curtain behind me. <laughs> he's like, surprise, motherfucker. If I had a surprise, webcam, you guys would be like... They'd be like, there's something behind him, there's something behind him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's a serial killer. Fuck. No, when, when my part in the podcast comes up, it's gonna be, Ryan, there's something behind you. There's so- It's a bitch, Ryan, run! <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody can say nothing. He, he <laughs> getting hit. Me and David are sitting here going... Nope, he cannot run. That bitch broke his door! <laughs> broke down his door. That was breaking his arm. There's video even ev- even fuck. Evidence <laughs> of murder. I could just make a video called My Sister a My Sister's a bitch and here's proof. Uh, yeah, I'm just... <laughs> I think that's the podcast. It's like and we hear just Ryan <laughs> dying on the other end, it's like Well guys, that was a looking up podcast. Thank you for tuning in. We're gonna get so you many views. Exactly, you wanna know exactly how that would go down? Yeah. Cause it, it, here's what would happen. I would make the video, 
I would um, have the title, My Sister's a Bitch, and Here's Proof. Uh, my sister or my mom would find it. If my sister found it, she would go, Ryan, take that down. I'd say no. She'd go, take it down now. I'd say no. She would either A, try to destroy my stuff back here, or B, she would run and tell mommy about it. Aww. And mommy would get mad at me, and mommy would say, then get out of my house, or she'd say, all this stuff is mine now, even though I paid for all this. She'd probably throw me out if Taylor, I refused. And Taylor would probably kick you in the nuts. Again. Yeah, that, that goes with everything. That's always her fucking go-to shot. Nut well, shot. Well, it's usually how young girls do things. <laughs> 18, dude. Still yeah. doing it. So it's all still young. a young girl, then. <laughs> I'm 25. Oh, and she's single? Well, Ryan, can I get... <laughs> nope, she's... Remember, you already she's covered this. my friend I'm over kidding. in... I'm kidding, I have a girlfriend, I don't want to do this. New Mexico. She's doing a what? She's dating my friend from high school, who is my age, in New Mexico. Aww. Ain't that not cute. Nope. Yeah, I already have a girlfriend. If she heard... Well, if it'll be interesting when that don't going, work oh, out. Oh, well, I would probably be dead. Hmm. Like, so next podcast. Oh, hi, baby. Gunshots. Any hot topics today? It's funny, today? too, because every, every time I'm almost like, you know, Taylor's being kind of cool. Maybe she'll be nice, and I'll let her in the podcast one day soon. Maybe oh, next God. time. Get a girl in there. And There's a girl in your podcast. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll freak her out and scare her away. Oh, I'll get the, uh, he's weird. Why do you even hang out with him? <laughs> what, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, why do you <laughs> hang out with me? <laughs> David, she's told me that you don't count as a friend. How's Aww. that? I don't know. She's, I'm like, she's like, you don't have any friends. I go, I have David. She's like, oh, he doesn't count. He's in Wisconsin, Ryan. Who do you <laughs> hang out with here? I went, I don't know, Taylor. Who haven't you tried to sleep with? <laughs> she went after my cousin for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, should I should I say that story that I said last night then? Um, sure. The defense story? Okay. This is something that Ryan would never do. <laughs> Obviously. But, um... Oh, yeah. Nah. Yeah. It'd have to be pretty bad. Like, someone would have to have a gun pointed at her. Oh, well. And then I'd think about it. <laughs> and then you'd think about it. Well, um, there, I have two stepsisters and a stepbrother. So I'm trying to, like, reposition myself on the chair. And, uh, well, she, my older stepsister had a, um, boyfriend that, well, he was kind of like a quiet guy, turned into an alcoholic, and, um, also a drug person, but, uh, you see, I was okay with him, he was a cool guy, but then, um, one day, he hits her. So, me being a fun-loving brother that I am, and absolutely blinded by rage, I go... Like, pretty much ding-dong ditch him, only that I hide in the bush, uh, bushes near his house, door, thing. Wow, this is good explaining. And he comes out, um, he's looking around, I just go in a full sprint, deck him in the face, get him in a headlock, and punch him once in the gut. Little did I know that I knocked him out with the first punch. And, well, I thought he was dead. Because <laughs> I think I dislocated his jaw, and I didn't know what to do. I think I was like, I don't know, 16 at the time when he was fucking 19 or 20. So, good times, good times. But, uh. Good times. Oh, wait, but also at the. Um, I didn't get. I got, like, a little. I didn't get charged for it or anything. I didn't go to jail, but. <laughs> he went to jail because they went into, um. <clears throat> the, when they went into his house to look for whatever. I don't know what they were doing. They, um. Checked the sofa, and there was a bunch of drugs. Just uh, a whole couch full of drugs. So, he's probably still in jail. Yay. He's plotting his revenge. He's going to get you. <laughs> i like to see him try. <laughs> We're going to lose Nick. Yep. Oh, fuck. I hear like, I hey, him. you're that one guy in gunshot. <laughs> it's like, great, we're not getting his audio now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck.
Look, I found a funny story. What? A drunk woman crashes her car into a fire station after being strangled by the snake that she stole from a pet shop. <laughs> what? What the fuck? There's a picture what? there's a picture of a boa constrictor and apparently this woman stole it from a pet shop and it strangled she she must have threw it around her neck and ran out the pet store into the <laughs> car and when she was drunk. Which then it constricted on her and she crashed into a fire station. <laughs> I have a crazy old lady story. <laughs> from Albany. <laughs> a two foot long wow. ball what? python. Who the fuck would She is just, twenty-two years old. Just just why? How old was she? Twenty-two. Oh it's my god. Pretty young <laughs> age to die, but yay. She, I don't think she, she didn't die. die. Oh okay. Because we don't tell murder crashed. stories on this. How's show. the snake? Did the snake make it? Uh I'd That's imagine. All That's all I care about. She pleaded not guilty and is due back in court August 8th. <laughs> I the didn't snake, not which me. was worth $90, nope. was returned to the pet shop. Oh, so this or this has already happened then, because it's August 9th. Ball pythons can grow up to five feet long and kill by wrapping their bodies around prey. That's common knowledge. This <laughs> old snake. Yeah. Like, oh, I want that snake. Like, what was the super huge ones that are like fucking 20 to 30 feet long. It's like, Jesus, fuck. I need to be put up against that in a wrestling match. No, was she in there just like, fun. I must have it. It's mine. I want it. She's like, can I, can I handle I want the snake it or something? Around my neck. Can I, can I take a look at the snake? Okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Bye. <laughs> out yeah, the door. Just starts running out drunk as shit. <laughs> but she wraps it around her neck and takes off. I guess so, because like, that's the way she got it. She was a strangler. <laughs> the snake's justified. Yeah, it's yeah. self-defense. I mean, it was it was kidnapped and it had to yeah. protect itself. That's instant karma. You steal but then, shit. Oh, but they don't care because crash. it's a human because there's a human life involved, and they go, "Oh, the animal tried to kill it." And people don't seem to realize that poking a bear with a goddamn stick doesn't piss it off to a point of killing you. So. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. I found the snake's him. like not today, bitch. <laughs> yeah. All right, no, uh. Found another story. Man trying oh, to fun. man trying to burn spider alive with aerosol sets fire to his house. <laughs> I've heard of that I one. I don't blame him. I think I saw that on iFunny. A man had to call nine 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 when his house caught fire after he sprayed a spider with an aerosol and set it alight. The resident uh, from. <coughs> Bridgend Wales came across the unfortunate arachnid sitting on the windowsill. Instead of seeming to transfer it outside or simply wallop it with his shoe, he doused it with aerosol can. The decision to burn it alive rebounded on him when a flame quickly spread, leading to emergency call to fire services. <laughs> Apparently, Could you imagine if you had to come up and put that fire out? Fuck. <laughs> That's if they actually. I saw no, right, it was interesting because uh, walked up to the door, my saw like wasps everywhere, and, and I didn't ran. put the dog up. So we'll Stop see. talking at the same fucking time. You're welcome. No, uh, you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Please help. <laughs> I'll just cut one of. Them. <laughs> yeah, then me screaming for no fucking reason. <laughs> so Ryan, three, two, one. Ah, uh, talk, Randy. Fuck. Okay, you didn't do it with me, damn it. We synchronize when Hell and Ryan are talking together. <laughs> yeah. Can't understand a fucking word none of them is saying. Pet dog bites off owner's genitals when he tries to stop attack on daughter. <laughs> um. <laughs> what kind of dog? Uh, let's see. I doubt it was a chihuahua. <laughs> it probably was a chihuahua. What are you talking about? The 90 pound <laughs> mixed breed called Stitches. That's kind of fitting, ain't it? <laughs> His, name, his uh, owner gave him the nickname Stitches, so he decided to do the same thing for the owner. <laughs> Fuck well, wearing then. Stitches. Bitches get Stitches! Bites off his nuts. Let's see, a dog owner had his genitals ripped off when he tried to stop. Oh, his pet pit bull. Aw. No, we gotta edit that out. Mm. That adds to the stereotype. I can, I can counter that. I've known some cool pit bulls. Oh, God! Well, but... Yeah, but 
Plus Everybody else is like, oh, pit bulls are scary. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna be I know someone who had, a, they had two off. pit bulls. Yeah, be right back. Hey, it's right, don't meet them. Albuquerque. Fuck. All right, so while he's gone, um, <sighs> there was my neighbor, um, Cindy, and her husband and daughter and crap. They had uh, two pit bulls. There was Lunchbox, and then there was Jasmine. Jasmine was the second one that came in a couple years later. But Lunchbox was like the coolest dog in the world. It's the, like the coolest, nicest pit bull I've ever seen. Huh. And then uh, they got Jasmine, who was really mean. You kind of. And uh, <laughs> I, was out, so I was out in their backyard one day playing with their kids. This was a long time ago. Fuck. <clears throat> and um, we were playing, and Jasmine starts running at us. She's baring her fangs. Lunchbox like peels out of nowhere and slams into the dog, gets in front of us, and uh, blocks her from us, and starts barking at her. Huh. It's awesome. Damn. I love you. Oh, I need to... We're professional as shit I'm here. back. Hey. This one's going to be edited, so... <laughs> I wanted to bring up this one shark story, because Shark Week's coming up. Oh, is it? I thought we already were in Shark Week. Are we? I kept saying shit about Shark Week. That's but why Sharknado actually... 2 is like, coming out. Tomorrow, Confirm. on Shark Week. I was like, oh, I guess it's Shark Week. Well, then, since it's Shark Week, a frilled shark surfaced not that long ago. A what? I heard about that. Yeah, they only surface like when they when they're dying, but this hey, shark, yeah. he was oh, actually shark? still alive. Which some fishermen saw him surface, so they got some they got a little bit of documentation of it swimming around, which was kind of cool. But I don't think it was how it would normally swim because they're a deep sea shark. <clears throat> they live down way deep, so they're mm -hmm. they're used what to the pressures. Frilled. A what? It's a frilled shark. No idea what that is. You're gonna, you're gonna look it well, up. Well, it's it's fucking it's prehistoric and shit. But it's like weird like saw mouth thing. Yeah, it's it's a shark, so it does. <laughs> All sharks have like saw mouths. You ever see Deep Blue Sea? It's like that. No. <laughs> but it's it's like a it's like a shark. What is it called? Frilled. F R I L L E D. Google it or whatever, Whoa. but <clears throat> it looked the video of it swimming looked weird as shit because its head was way higher than its body. Its body kind of just drooped down, like when it was like swimming, its like head, and then it slowly the body went slowly towards the ground. So I, I think it was just messed up because of the buoyancy probably being fucked up by the pressure of low pressure. It could be like a nurse shark. They just kind of stick to the bottom. Well, yeah, but this is a deep shark. It like goes to high. I know, I'm, I'm saying like he's the oh. he's the deep Whoa. shark that's like a nurse shark. He just he just lays on the ground a lot, and when they're about to die, I guess they come up. Yeah, but they or this like shark has the one like, with the, like it's horn, like a jester shark, what? whatever it's called. <sighs> Sorry, for we're talking about frilled sharks. It's like an eel. Yeah, pretty much. It's got the body of an eel, so I doubt it sits on the bottom. Because a nurse shark has a basic, a stereotypical shark body, which is a, a two pectoral fins, then a flat stomach region that slowly <clears throat> goes into a arrow shape at the tail. Mm -hmm. Which ki yeah. kind of threw me off on like on playing when you were playing banjo, kazooie with a uh, that clanker. Uh, that clanker. Did they say he's a whale? Clanker? No, he's a he's a garbage disposal shark. Oh, okay. I thought I thought they called it a whale. I'm like that doesn't that's not that's a fin of a whale. One. I think I, I was think watching... it was more like a, a betta fish, maybe. No, a, a betta mm. fish is like got a short body. I didn't say it was a shark. It was some. It looked like more something else though. I can't remember. A barracuda. Yeah. It. What? Could have been a barracuda. But it's it's a it's a funky looking shark. It's like oh, it's just dude. amazing. I I love like I wanted to be a marine biologist so fucking bad. But I yeah, too I bad lost I'm my studying dreams. to be an astrophysicist or whatever it's called. Oh what? I don't. You know want to be an my sister wants to be a physical therapist. A what? With happy endings. A physical therapist. No, you know, the people that, like, work there, yeah. and they're like, I'm going to help you recover, I'm going to help you get over your trauma. 
I'm like, yeah, right, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Why the fuck aren't you better? It's like, no, nope. I, I can walk a, on two legs, why can't a, you? A six, a six gill, or a six slit shark, up in, they pulled up in Greenland. That was like maybe a few years ago. I think it was a six gill. Yeah, a six gill shark. I was watching a documentary where they put all these bait hooks out very fucking deep and then they pulled up some six gills. It was like amazing watching that. Ryan, I'm trying to make this professional. It's like, is your microphone dead? Or? God fucking. Another. I had to put batteries in. Oh my god. Nick's popular. Fuck, at least Stop somewhere. making me edit shit, you assholes! Yes, yes, very popular. Ryan, you don't edit this. <laughs> what? I've seen shit, you're like, I'm gonna edit this. I'm like, I hear you say edit well, this. I'll edit, I'll, like, I'll watch it, and if it, like, if it goes into something else later, I'm like, well... Like, if I watched it and I was like, I'll keep it in, I just let it stay. Well, if we keep talking about it, then it'll probably have to stay in. <laughs> yeah, I'm hopefully back and not gonna have another phone call. <laughs> hopefully. Turn my phone off. Hopefully, it won't ring anymore. Uh, it better not, otherwise you're I'm fucking a, haunted. I'm I'm a, I'm a what now? <sighs> Transformers Four, go! <laughs> Great. Have fun, guys. I haven't seen it. I mean, all I watched it for is the action. I didn't really care. That's why I watch a porno. <laughs> I don't care about the story. I don't care about the story! Oh, pizza delivery, man. Hey, Alice. I have a big package for you. What's in the package? A nice, all right. big What's sausage. In the box? You guys gonna talk about Transformers while I do something else? I have not seen Transformers 4. I just asked him if it was good. Um... Well, it's a normal Michael Bay, like, um, well... Oh, so I'm not gonna watch it. No, well, it's... It, the action is definitely good, and it's... It, it's okay. I, I mean, don't wanna has, watch TMNT, because I'm terrified they messed it up somehow. Yeah, it, it has, like... But it has Grimlock in there. It, it So it had to be good. Which, it is, action-wise, but story-wise, of course, it's still kind of... Meh. But, yeah... Michael Bay is like, look at the camera angles, look at the explosions, look, look at the CGI, at the and cameoing in the movie. Yeah. I don't know. A mo new movie I want to see is Oculus. Looks okay. I want to see Guardians of the Galaxy, and I want to see Lucy. It, that it movie made like what, sixty-two million, already? So far. It. I was like, opening weekend, it made sixty-two million. I'm like, holy fuck! It's, it's pretty good. Go watch it. I've heard. Go watch it. Plan to. I plan to. Okay, so we're all big into anime, right? Pretty much. Yep. I'm probably. Want to talk about Sword Art Online for a bit? <laughs> I already know what's going to happen. I already read the mangoes and everything. So do I. Well, don't talk about it. Okay, just, so you see, kind of stick he to the died. Anime portion. <laughs> Dumbledore dies at the he end. He doesn't. He goes into coma. I will oh, gee, I wasn't trying to spoil it, asshole. <laughs> I was gonna go, oh, a Dumbledore dies. What? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Snape oh killed. Oh my god. Snape killed Dumbledore. Oh, spoiler alert. Haunted House Holy 2 shit. is on freaking Xbox. What? I didn't know a Haunted House 2 was out yet. Is it to rent? I can. Like on Redbox? Yeah, no, I, I can watch it on Xbox video. Is it. Is it pre-sale or is it rent yet? Because I'm waiting for it to be rent. I don't know. I'm clicking on it. It's uh, I can purchase. Fifth is, yeah. I mean, it's not out to buy yet. I mean, not to rent yet. I didn't know it was even out yet. Like, they do this thing on digital things. It's like Amazon and Xbox, where you can, you can buy it early, like two weeks early before it comes out, and you can buy it for fifteen bucks. Yeah, they did that with Frozen. Do you want to build they a did that with the Lego Movie, which I bought, and they did that with Despicable Me Two, which I bought. So, the Lego Movie was I actually pretty good. I loved it. It was really good. Everything. The is Oculus awesome. is out. 
Kick Ass 2 is on there. Uh, Spider Man 2's out. Divergence out. I don't want to watch Divergence. Eh. Sucks dick. There's like a big DVD set for that, isn't there? Yeah, they're trying they're trying to market that as like the have to have movie of the decade. It started as a book, didn't it? Yep, I tried reading the books. They were just really shitty. Huh. That's saying something. When I can make it through the first two Twilight books and I can't make it through Divergent, it's bad. And I only read Twilight because my sister said at the time, I can't make fun of Twilight unless I've read the books. I don't make fun of it, so I just think I it's stupid. It is. The book's worse. I mean, it's so much worse. The book, the movie doesn't really convey it, but the books is always like, I love you, Edward! I love you too, Bella, but we can't, I'm a monster. You're not a monster, Edward! Yes, I am. I might hurt you. It's okay, you'll never hurt me. I love you. I love you too, but I'm a monster. And it just repeats. So speaking of gay, um, I, uh, I'm gonna throw myself on the cliff. Ah! You're gonna, you're gonna, yes! go, you're gonna go watch uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Nope. What the fuck did they? I'm surprised they're even gonna, they're gonna release it. Don't How can they make a is. movie out of that? It's a porno. How the fuck is it getting a movie? I don't know. I'll be really surprised if it's PG-13. I, I really wish I didn't have to Google this shit. <laughs> Do you know what fucking you know what Fifty Shades of Grey really is? Hmm. It's, it's a Twilight fan fiction. Oh yeah, it, it, she was inspired by that, wasn't she? I think it was a guy, isn't it? I don't the know, author's a female. I have no idea. Is it? Yeah, it's she's a female. Okay. <laughs> I said it. All right. But it was a Twilight fan fiction that I guess people said it was so good, and these are Twitards. They said it was so good. That they should, the uh, author should turn it into a book. So the author changed the name of the characters and made it a book. Alright, here's a description. Fifty Shades of Grey, 2015. Let's no. see. Literature student Anastasia Steele's life changes forever when she meets handsome yet tormented billionaire Christian Grey. It looks like it's coming out on Valentine's Day. Motherfucker! Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, are you god. serious? <laughs> Hey, babe. <laughs> what is it? Hey, I love you. Let's go watch this movie, and then we'll bang after. Oh, fuck. Uh, he'd be so fucking horny after that. I missed that because that. I was being pissed off at it's, someone. It's about, like... If, <laughs> it's a bunch of... What is it? BS... BDM? BDM? There's a lot of S &M? shit in there. Yeah, there's s and in that thing all over the place. Tighter. Tighter. Around my neck until I couldn't breathe. Ooh, it's got an audio book. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know the narrator for Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, I'm going to sign up for audible.com and go get that. Book. Yeah, it could be your free book. I'm sure you can. I know you get a free book after that. I'm going to go to the pool and hook up speakers to it on my phone and just listen. People would be jerking it in the pool. <laughs> they might already be, for all I know. Oh, God. Yeah. I walked into the. I had to, I had to uh, go to the pool a few nights ago to close it. I walked into the bathroom, flipped the lights on. It was covered in piss. The walls, the mirror, the toilet, the sink, everywhere. I, uh, like, Jesus Christ. That's I could give why Fifty Shades of Grey right David's now. David's mom told him to sink the Cheerios. There's three books of Fifty Shades. Three books? Yep, look it up. There's three. How is there three? Don't know. Yeah, I missed the whole like... conversation because um, I, got an, I got another phone call. So We know you got a phone call. Quit bringing that up. From now on, whoever you don't gets a acknowledge phone call, it. So how the fuck the do I know? Because we're trying not to bring it podcast. into the fucking podcast. We're just like, right. let it go. Hey, right, continue. From now on, if you have a phone call, anyone has to uh, hold their phone up to the speaker or the mic and play through the speaker. Fifty Shades okay. of Grey box set. Off. How much? Twenty six dollars. It's, oh yeah, it's a trilogy. Would you like to read porn? And look like you're professional with a big book in your hand? <laughs> Fucking three books, really? Yeah. Random House Incorporated. E.L. James. 
It's like, so, uh, what book you reading? Fifty Shades of Grey. <gasps> Me too. Huh? Yeah, E.L. E. E. James is a female. That's... Shit. How old? Oh, E.L. James. I'll bring up her wiki. <laughs> she has a wiki. Born... She doesn't deserve a wiki. Born 7th, March 1963. I know she's a mother, too. 60... She was writing Twilight fanfiction in her 40s? Are you kidding me? <laughs> God, there's a shitload. She's one of the... Is she a single mom? Because that would explain things. Oh, fuck. Let's see. Because I know a bunch of single moms loves Twilight. Well, she's daydreaming about this kind of crap and <laughs> and then Bella and then Bella gasped tighter tighter and oh, Edward no complied. no shut up <laughs> just stop that's how it originally was I guarantee it and then just so I'm gonna change that name and that name Wait, are, I have my own book are you looking up her uh does she have a, is she on the fan fiction website right next to you Ryan <laughs> yeah we're uh recommended authors yeah you guys we co work we co-wrote 50 shades you collaborated actually. yeah you were her test subject? I had to find ways to describe a penis. She didn't understand it. Did you guys act out the uh, scenes? Oh, yeah. Way to go, Ryan. Way, way to go for the gilfs. The G gilf. The, what's the G gilf? Great grandmothers? The, yeah. Holy fuck. She's not that old. Ugh. I still can't believe she's in her 40s writing fucking Twilight fanfiction. <laughs> I can't believe there's three books. I thought it was just one. So it's Fifty Shades of Grey cubed? Mm, it's like 50-something Grev Grey. I think the dude's name is Grey, so that's why it's... it's yeah, that's his last name. It's character. Christian Grey, which... Why would you have a name Christian in that kind of book? Oh... So Ryan, you gonna get the audiobook? You can I should. You can listen to it and then you can describe it to us. I should walk around Providence with it on my Kindle, like the book, and then ask people to read pages. Could you read this out loud, please? My mom would fucking flip out on me if I bought this shit. <laughs> should buy it and send it to her. Here you go, ma. Here, mom. Merry Merry Christmas. I don't. Th I bought you Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't think she even. I don't think she likes even the thought of Fifty Shades of Grey. Mom, I bought you movie tickets. Oh. Yeah. Opening night. <laughs> Have fun. Tell me how it is. <laughs> Tell me if it's just a blatant porno. Oh, fucking Google update it. You can do search with a voice now. wonder how well that works. <laughs> Let's see. Who wants to use your yes? Allow. Do a barrel roll. Hey, okay, it worked. Shoot. That's awesome. Although I have to, act, like, say yes, I want you to use my microphone. So, what's everybody been up to? Well, pretty much nothing. Um, I spent the better part of three days doing the uh, Sonic All-Star Racing Transformed S-Class World Tour. And that's a new video out, ain't it? Soon, yeah. You, uh, I want to kill myself. You just put out a Sonic it. video, didn't you? Yeah, that was. Um, I was trying to get an achievement. Uh, the next video is me actually trying to do one of the S class things. So we got and not having any fun. So we just got an. We, our podcast just came out, and then wait a minute, you put you did that Sonic video before our last podcast came out, right? Well, by the time this is out, that's gonna be out. So. So that's up, and then. Do we have anything planned to do after this? Oh yeah, Castle Crashers. Oh, we're gonna play. Are we like brand new story Confirm. mode Castle Crashers? Yep, I call Hattie. So, th the best friend a friend could have. So this, this yeah, this Castle Crashers gonna come out before the podcast is uploaded. Should. All right, so I'm just trying to get them. So we could people to watch this. We that could try to do. Um, no other shits coming out. Yeah, we could also try to do some air mech stuff. Uh, Nick's good at it. He'll carry the team. 
This uh, is our Awu. Can also, there's a few Minecraft Let's Plays I want to talk to you guys about, and we could probably plan out. Oh, but what about the uh, certain machinimas? Uh, what, Caddy's Quest? Yeah. Yep, we're working on that. I think I got Nick on board last night with it. Eh, I still want to do mine, though. You said it sounded fun. Yeah, it sounded, well, we'll it sounded fun to do, as in, like, it's not... Yeah. It's like it's funny. It's, it's yeah. The only thing I see is it's hard to do. Is hard to do the voice without anybody's feedback. Like if you're just at your house and you have a script in front of you, it's just like blah 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 blah. It, it's practice. Uh, I've I did voice acting for one thing back when I had a really shitty mic, and it was just trying to imagine how the character would say it and then trying to match that. But it's hard, uh, like, to get in the emotional you just state. You've got to do it a lot. Yeah, you just have to keep doing it until it sounds right. Because it's like, you do the you do one line, then it was like, it'd be like awkward pause. It'd be like, okay, I did that line. It helps. It helps a lot if you pretend you're actually talking to somebody. Yeah, well, the thing I, is, the way that I invented my voices was that um, I basically just imagined that I was another person, and I had to like think uh, of a voice that fit with their personality. So huh. some sometimes if I can't do the voice, I'm not fitting the personality kind of or thinking of the personality. Get what I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah. you got multiple personality to, uh, dissociative disorder. Yeah, I probably have that. I don't know what that does, but maybe. I was saying multiple. It's multiple personality disorder, which has been reclassified as dissociative disorder. I think I'm missing a word in there, but that's like how I, that's how I came up with Womp in um, Caddy's Quest. It's a character. Oh. Who I got, I'm gonna voice the the crazy guy. I was we, yeah we were just I was just like brainstorming a bunch of characters and I was like well there could be like a, a guy that's insane and I already had a voice that I wanted to use for something. Ah, oh, dissociative <laughs> identity <laughs> disorder. I want hello. <laughs> you like oh, fucking that toad. A, that's hello. cartoony. Yeah, but Womp's like a cartoony psychopath so. So I didn't have any classification on what Caddy's Quest was going to like be. Like, what are the actors? Is it like a Halo machinima? Is it a... Yeah, it's Halo. It takes place in the Halo engine, so... Oh, I wish, I wish Destiny would be out so we could do it in that. I don't think there's going to be a theater mode I wonder if Destiny is going to have... It should. It maybe. comes out September 9th. That'd be awesome. So far. Be the... Hope it doesn't get pushed back again. To be a first. Yeah, everything gets pushed back. Everything I pre-order gets pushed back. It pisses me off. Yeah. Well, and I'm sure Destiny's I remember back and, in... So. What was it? When Twilight Princess was coming out for the GameCube, they got pushed back about a year and a half. Yeah, I didn't really... I didn't... They just kept pushing it back. I didn't pre-order that one. I mean, whenever I pre-ordered I finally things. got it, and I played it, and I loved it. I like Twilight Princess. That was awesome. It was fun. The game yeah. was so good. I hated the controls. I wish I would have bought it for a GameCube. Oh, speaking of... I had it for the GameCube. That's that's how I played it. I had it for Wii. It pissed me off. It speaking wouldn't... of Zelda... The... Sorry. Continue. Go. The... That was speaking... it. He was done. Speaking of Zelda... Period. <laughs> speaking of Zelda, um... The... It's like... Every... Every... I know everybody loves Ocarina. Even though that it's possibly the most broken Zelda game ever. As in, oh. there's... Well, speedrunners break it all the time, it's but so good. it was made back no, in the I mean, 64 it's, it's before the, they really knew they had to patch things. It's the most glitchiest game, pretty much. I mean... I don't really remember it ever glitching for well, me. Well, I never had there's a things that you do that, like, um... Say you get, like, a, de a deco stick. Basically, there's a glitch where if an enemy touches it, it instantly dies. Well, yeah, it's like a Master Sword, basically, but it's got a durability of shit. Yeah, but and there's yeah. also one where, um, because the game thinks it just hits it like so many times, and there's even a glitch where it basically is, um, y it never breaks. <clears throat> so, and there's. Do you guys remember getting the bigger on sword? The yeah. what? Big old fucking. Remember you had fetch to go quest. do all that shit for that guy just to get that sword. And you had to like you had a time limit to get back there with uh, water, uh, like what eye drops. Yeah. Yeah. Because they only stay fresh for so long. You had to go buy the shitty bigger on sword that broke after a while. Yeah, and it's a two-handed sword, so you that. can't use a shield. Yeah, but th that's what you I used when I fought Ganon. 
That's what everybody used. I didn't. Remember, because he knocked your Master Sword away. Yeah. So I don't need that thing. I'm going to wail on you with this. Let's see. I had, I had a problem with uh, Link to the Past with that fucking getting all the sword upgrades. I never ended up doing the yeah. full upgrades. It. I've actually never fully played uh, Link to the yeah, Past. Yeah, I've oh never God. completed it because I just like went to a point where like, where do I go? I I preferred Link's Awakening. Yeah, I Link's love Awakening. That, that was the first Zelda, game, Zelda right game I ever played. Oh my God, it was so Link's good. Awakening so good. DX. It's the first Zelda game I played on big screen because I had that adapter that you plugged into your Super Nintendo. Oh, that means you didn't oh, get. Yeah, I didn't have that, that means you didn't get the color, then, did you? I had DX. The uh, so, well, DX was a Game Boy game that could go into that thing. I had the original. No, no. I mean, well, my great aunt had it. Well, um, there there's a thing where like they were uh, selling it for like the Game Boy color and it was going like to be like a color dungeon where. If you didn't have that certain form of the game, you couldn't do the dungeon, which it gave you two <clears throat> two different pieces of armor, which you can go for the blue set, which gives you more defense, which why the fuck would you want that, when you can have the red one, where basically with the level 2 sword, all you have to do is hit a boss or mini boss four times and it you win. Yay. Oh yeah, I remember that. I saw a Let's Play doing that. I think Chugga Conroy was playing it, and it was like the DX version, which... You actually have color in that. What? Yeah, that yeah, was that's the, the one perk of the game. Yeah. Just a, it was just that a pain game the drove me insane as a kid. I went through so many batteries. What? Because I got stuck early on. Link to the past. I just remember I got to the swamp area. No, to um, Link's Awakening. Oh, okay. I got stuck in the swamp area and I couldn't figure out what to do. And I finally did, and I felt so accomplished. Only to get stuck again. Wasn't on the um, Windfish and Skyward Sword, or and I know it was in another Zelda game. It or it showed the up. Windfish? Yeah, the Wingfish. Um, or Windfish. It was a whale. Yeah, it was like a yeah, whale. but they called it the Windfish. Yeah, he he was in um Wind Waker. Wind Waker, that yes, that. Know, yeah, he was. Skyward. You had to go talk to him under your island. Yeah. After you. Oh, uh, out, 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 whatever, outside island. Yeah. You had to like find all the stuff. Oh, like, oh he's under your house. Yeah.